in the 30s in the high desert. Oh, I'm going to have to change. Look at this. Oh, oh no. That's oh, bummer. no. Oh, no. Oh, where's no. The, where's the green? That's a bummer. I thought it was light enough. Do we have another camera? Like, can I show? Can we turn this one around? So, yeah, this oh, is what happens. Oh. <laughs> Dressed by Chris Burroughs. Oh, my God. It's like, no, it's swimming. It's like it's a intense. Now, let's have a look at the weather. Uh, Louise, you're all right. <laughs> Sorry. Can we through? I think we've lost her. Uh. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Come back to me on camera three. <laughs> Now, let's get a weather update. Here is Louise Lear. Thank you, Simon. Good evening, everybody. I'll try and keep it together because it's not a laughing matter with the weather in Scotland today. It's been, <laughs> sorry. It's been pretty wet and windy with the strongest of the gusts of wind across Scotland and Northern Ireland. In fact, we've seen gale force gusts into Wales and across the northern parts of England. We've had some... Sorry. We've had some sunshine with highs of 24 degrees. So that's 75 Fahrenheit. Let's move back to this area of low pressure that's been sitting across the northwest. <laughs> Dave has some help today. His mini meteorologist. Going back and forth. It's like a bobblehead. And she bobble is full of personality. Oh, look at that. I like yes, that. I like is. that. She's going to outdance you, Dave. I like Dave. that too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun here? Mm hmm. Okay. So. Um, you ready for summer? You got your flip-flops on, you're ready to go. You want some warm weather? Warm What's the temperature right now? 81. 81. You like that picture? Yeah? <laughs> you can go swimming. I like it. Satellite and radar shows that we do have a few clouds lifting through. Do we have any rain right now? <laughs> no. Charleston. She's held up Charleston. I know. <laughs> well, sometimes, sometimes we need held up as we go through our Friday and Saturday, but then warming back up. Our Wendy's mini meteorologist, Anna. Always good to see you. Can I have a hug? Oh, all right. So, Anna got you the weather forecast. I'll get you the rest of the seven day coming up in a few minutes. Well done. Quédese con nosotros aquí en nuestra casa de gente regia. Ya lo dijo el torbellino de las redes sociales. El clima muy favorecedor. Y acá en el estudio, ¿qué será el Moro Baby? Hi, I'm Sean Welby. Well, you needed x-ray vision to see through the fog in some parts this morning, even a touch of frost in the small villages. So it's hardly coincidence that temperatures will be lowest in the north and the west. But let's have a look at how things progress this afternoon. Now, sun will struggle to dent the cloud in the north and west, and rain will affect Northern Ireland and western Scotland. Across England and Wales, well, we'll see almost all sunshine here with highs of 13 or 14 degrees in Kent. Now, if you're going on a car crib tonight, just be aware that things will go from bad to worse. Low pressure systems moving in from the Atlantic means that as the dark night rises, well, wind, rain and cloud will be the bane of the West. And low pressure will sadly steal the sunny conditions from us on Saturday afternoon. If you did wonder about Easter Sunday, well, there's no justice as we'll have to face more unsettled conditions. Expect the clouds to be grey sun in short supply. And once again, we've got lots of scattered showers, some of which will be heavy and thundery. Super. Uh, Marion, and uh, this is what it looks like. That looks to me, that is certainly a wall cloud, and that actually, um, that is, that looks like a tornado. Um, if I can get thrown on, can I get superimposed on top of this? Because we do have ourselves, it looks like a funnel cloud and or tornado um, forming. No, 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 pa tell them to pan to back to the right, pan back to the right, pan back to the right. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're missing the wall cloud is to the right, right in there. That is our wall cloud. That is what we're going to be looking for. This is what we're seeing. This is the wall cloud right here. If we can stay, if we can tell them to stay right in the middle, uh, we're, we're missing it again. Um, it's right here, this is where the wall cloud is. Um, don't zoom in. All right, that's not anything. This is what's called scud. This isn't any type of rotating cloud. This is our wall cloud right here. This is what will be causing the tornado. If they can zoom back out, that would be great. We have ourselves what's called a tail cloud at the tail end of it over there. The tornado, which I, or the funnel cloud, they're going the wrong direction once again. Okay, so we need to shift over and we need to uh, put it right onto the wall cloud, uh, just off to the, uh, over top of that building right there. That is where it is. If you, keep, if you tell them to keep it centered directly over top of that Chevy Traverse, it would be perfect. Um, that is what we're going to be If you hear lightning, see thunder. 
we get into the afternoon, you'll see shit scattered showers and thunderstorms bubbling up. Well, I hope your first morning of 2016 is off to a pretty good start. You're going to need to. Right here, that, that's where it's still breathing. This thing is still alive because that mouth is open for business. So skiers forecast over to a tropical uh, forecast. Say what? Yeah, it's very unusual. It'll still be a little bit breezy. Wind's coming in from the north. That'll keep it a little bit on the cool side, a little chilly side. Not too chilly for my sake, if you know what I mean. So it's calmer today, mostly. <laughs> Guess what? Texas Tech is always the national champion. Oh, jeez, oh, Louise! <laughs> Why did that just happen? 84 in St. Pete right now. Got a Pokemon? She's looking for Pokemon right now. This is the location. You guys gotta be careful with these phones. It's Pokemon. You're just walking around all over the place. Even into tomorrow. What's going on? You want me to put this on? Why? Because it's cold? Get a lot of emails. What? There you go. Really? There you go. Okay. That's nice. I look like a librarian now. I need. That works. So we look at the area of Dominican Republic, and you notice what's different in this NASA image. You see all brown here, and then green to the east. That's because this whole area has been essentially deforested. They take all the trees down. They burn the trees. Even the kids there, they're so hungry, they actually eat the trees. Now, here in Little Rock, we also saw the hottest day of the year in nearly four years, actually. Let's check in with first, though, with Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan. And Keith, are we looking for any sign of possible relief on the way? No, back to you. Camera, one, two, three, go. See this? Melbourne, Daytona Beach, all the way up to Jacksonville. This moves 20 miles to the west, and you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible, unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die, too. There it was. Woo hoo! Diva power. Oh, yeah! Hey, oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> That's some diva power right there. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I hope the applause comes later. Mostly sunny skies out there with temperatures <laughs> right around 60 or so with lots of sunshine. Oh, my God. <laughs> temperatures right now. Only around 64 or so, with those winds out of the north, floating hands. Out of the, about 10 to 15 or so, it's a little bit breezy out there. A water spout yesterday, uh, quite an amazing thing to be fair, pushing in over the top of the country. Is, when you take a step back, is there anything else you see in this oh, picture? Sam, you didn't have to say that. What? It's about as subtle <laughs> as a sledgehammer, mate. I mean, why didn't you just, oh. Maybe Melissa did. She certainly had to look up. <laughs> There's a lot of detail. Oh my goodness. Mm, well captured. You can see that that threat in the dark purple area even extends across eastbound places like Boston back towards the... Can I try this again? I don't know what the hell I'm saying. 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 <sighs> Just tired. That's it. All right. <laughs> Now, live Super Doppler has been indicating locally heavy amounts of rainfall across southwest Iowa. Ah, it, Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 10. What should I do? Ah, don't you love when that pops up? Huh? Anyway, over an inch has fallen across southwest Iowa, and we will be uh, keeping track of that as the morning goes along here, too. So, um, hmm. What's going on with my clicker now? Okay, the winds have been very gusty overnight as well. It's the Windows 10, right? That's what people are going to say. Don't do it. That we go to Loki, who is, of course, Thor's brother, to talk about the bad weather coming in here. So, so Loki, uh, what have we got there? Well, you know, my uh, brother from another brother has been misbehaving. Um, <laughs> the God of Thunder has, um, has brought his... Uh, his skill set to bear on the local <laughs> weather, should I say. So there is this huge storm front coming in, and um, the, all that means is that Chris Hemsworth has taken his hammer and he's <laughs> smashed it on the surface of the sky, and it's going to rain a hell of a lot. So uh, good luck with that. 
And um, <laughs> back to you, sir. Very good. That was awesome. <laughs> Way to go. Right. Loki with the weather there, Tom. That Thank was you. terrific. Yes. Thank hopefully, you very much, guys. Hopefully Thor's hammer will not come down too hard on us this afternoon.